part three of November 14th finds. Uh, before I go on, uh, yesterday I spent just about, just over five hours hunting Hot Wheels and drove 104.6 miles to find all these cars. So, you know, I invest the time and the gas and the wear and tear on your car. You know, whenever I find treasure hunts, uh, sorry, I'm going to take them all. I mean, some of you guys, you know, do the same thing. Some of you guys say that you don't do it, but who knows? You may really do it and just, you know, say that you don't. But there's also some that may leave treasure hunts behind, you know. To those guys, man... I give you guys thumbs up because uh, I can't do it. I'm sorry. I mean, uh, I've tried. You know, I've actually told my son, hey, go leave one on the pegs or leave a couple of them on the pegs. And and then when I'm checking out, I say, you know what, run back here and go get them because, you know, we, you know, I know I share them. I know I, I give them away. I mean, those ones that you just saw in video two, <clears throat> trust me, they're going to be prizes and stuff for contests later on. I mean... Like I said, I don't sell them, so I mean, I'm not a scalper, so, but I do, if, if I'm going to invest <coughs> that much money in gas and time, sorry, I got to take them all. I mean, if you guys find one treasure hunt at the store and you take it, guess what? You've taken them all, same thing. Well, at least I would think it's the same thing, but anyway, like I said, I don't, I don't do it just so somebody else don't get them. I just, uh. I just know certain area collectors or certain collectors in my area I cannot trade with them they will not trade with me I've tried for years they won't trade they won't they won't even sell them to me I don't know what they do with them but uh I mean so I have to compete against a couple of retired people that uh, all they do is go in and out the stores all day long it's hard to compete against so I have to go out of town to find my cars anyways this is the 69 Volkswagen Squareback custom garage cars these are all metal base metal bodies anyways check it out this store that I found these cars that you're fixing to see <coughs> the night before no uh, garage cars hanging up first one in the store this is the very first target I went to first one in the store first one to the pegs brand new KK stuff but the two red blazers the two blue and silver blazers and the two green power wagons or whatever they're called all six of those cars were gone they weren't even hanging on the pegs and the regular pegs main lines were stocked full not a single treasure hunt. This came from a different target. But not a single treasure hunt. And none of that stuff was there the night before at closing time. So you tell me. Did a stalker get it? I'm willing to bet they did. But, I mean, can't prove it. Didn't see them. But I know what it was before when they closed. And I was the first one to the page when they opened. So you tell me. Anyways, the second one I got was a 68 Chevy Nova. These cars are nice. I've been wanting to find these, man, since I've seen them. <coughs> I'm going to save the, uh, my personal best for last. So, 67 Oldsmobile 442 in yellow. With the red line wheels. 442 on the hood. Anyways. Very nice, very heavy. And we have the 67 Pontiac Firebird 400 in gold. Really nice. And these things are nice. You know, I started filling some jammers up yesterday. I actually got my six jammers in the mail. And I almost filled up four of them just from the cars sitting around in baggies. I had put in baggies. And uh, I may have to order another six. Wow, it's crazy. Anyway, I started throwing a bunch of mainline cars in these jammers, and then I started thinking, 
Man, you know, I'd rather have jammers with these kind of cards in them instead of the main lines. So, man, I was almost tempted to just kind of maybe hang up collecting main lines all together and just start going after the little bit higher end cars. <coughs> but, I don't know. We'll see. That's the first color. 67 Pontiac Firebird 400 again. More of a brownish copper color. So, uh... I think Jeremy Dreadnought told me that they were doing two colors of each. Well, check out the, it even has the painted tail lights. Kind of hard to see on this darker color. But, uh, yeah, man, those are nice. And I only bought six of them. <coughs> I left uh, four of them, I believe. Yeah, I left four of them. So that was ten, and like I said, the, the other six were missing. 69 Chevelle Super Sport 396. Yes. This is my favorite. So, very nice. Kind of a dull gray silver two tone. Also, I don't know if you guys can see that. Kind of a light silver on bottom, darker gray on top. Red stripe going around the car, red, red line wheels. Oh, by the way, I'm sure you, most of you guys already know, but in case you're new watching this video, these garage cars right here are all, well, let's see, I think I've done tore them all up. Anyways, they're all metal, they got metal bases on them, metal bodies, and uh, real rider tires, rubber tires. So, if you're new into collecting, I would highly recommend getting these types of cars really nice anyways that's it for uh november 14th finds so i do have one more or a couple more videos coming so stay tuned one of them one of them's going to tell about the contest and one of them's actually going to be the contest and speaking of contest all the contest winners from my last contest the boxes were sent out yesterday november 14th also so be looking for those in the mail, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.